And this is a comparison between the Skull Candy Smoking Buds 2 versus Apple Beats X. Two over the neck earbuds. Now I hear a lot of people online talking about Skull Candy. So I said, you know what? This will make for a good comparison because in looks, in feel, in a lot of things, these are very comparable earphones. Now, the Smoking Buds, you got the Skull Candy logo in the back. You have this traditional rubbery type feeling band that is kind of tight, but at the same time, kind of loose where the band is shifting around your neck. It's gonna pretty much stay in place. Now, you have an option with these air, air bands right here to separate them. So if you wanna look similar to the Apple Beats X, where you're gonna have this that goes around your neck, stay in the back of your neck, and the earbuds are gonna be free. So I don't think this is gonna pretty much stay around your neck when you're working out, but you have that option. And you could easily put them back the way you found them. So this links into a flat cable design, leads to a control panel, this Skull Candy branding all over these earbuds. You have your switch track, volume up, volume down, power button in the middle, and you got the buds. You got these tips, these tips fit good in your ear. The whole design of these skull candies is to fit good in your ear, and that's exactly what it does. Skull candy skulls on the earbuds, nice red, nice complement of red around these earbuds. These are really nice. So if you need some good workout over the neck earbuds, I don't think you can go wrong with the skull candy. So that takes us into the Beats X. The Beats X is going with this rubbery type of band that no matter how you twist it, crunch it up, it always snaps back into place with no issues, no problem. Leads you into the control panel, power button, parent button, and leads you into a flat cable design and on the other side, you plug this in by lightning connector. Beats X logo, regular controls that you know from Beats into these earbuds. The air tips fit good in your ear, but you could also put on the wings that gives a more secure fit. And these are some great workout earbuds. So, when it comes to the design and the fit and the feel to both of these earbuds, I must honestly say they're both good for working out. So, when it comes to design of both of these, it's almost a wash, but if I have to give it to one, I'm going to give it to the Skull Candies. When it comes to the fit of the tips in your ears, Apple, gotta you, you got to use the wings if you want to secure fit. These smoking buds. So let's get into the sound test of the Beats X. So 
guys that's that's the so sound listening test. to the sound of both of these earbuds the skull candy has a more flatter sound not much separation between the mids the bass not much highs on these they're kind of a flat sound but they definitely got volume with the beats x you're getting a more quality sound but not much separation either so once you push these deep in your air you're gonna get a strong hit of bass but so definitely apple has really put in a little bit more bass when it comes to the beats x so which one really sounds better the beats x the beats x just have a better quality sound than these skull candies now when it comes to battery life I would say guaranteed either even of the high volume you're gonna get a good five hours with the smoking buds and you could definitely get six hours if you tone down the volume which you probably will with the beats x you get you get battery fuel you get a little bit of a fast charge where you can get two hours of battery life with five minutes of charging it that's hot but all around these Beats X will give you up to eight hours of battery life, pretty much guaranteed. So when it comes to battery life, we got to give it to the Beats X. Now, when it comes to the pairing, there is nothing pairing right now like Beats and Apple headphones. Those Apple W1 chips are in the Beats line as well. And I'm going to say this is the best way to pair up your phone so pairing and bluetooth connection there's nothing like beat sex so the range is pretty good on both but we got to give that to the beats x as well call quality it seems like call quality is pretty good on both but i think it's much better on the beats x except when you're on a phone call and the wires tap against your face rub against your clothes yourself and the caller will hear that and that is a little bit of an issue but in some ways too you get the same type of interference with the wires or the bouncing and the moving with the skull candies so call quality is good but not the best with both of these products now when you add in cost cost is very important you can get the smoking buds for around 50 bucks, give or take. The Beats X is $150. Now, when you factor in the sound, the price, the battery life, the feel and the finish, I must honestly say you're better off putting your money with the smoking buds, especially if you're on a budget. If you want the best Bluetooth connection, if you want to pair up all your Apple devices one time, if that's really that important to you and you want to have that Beats brand around your neck, then I would say you can't go wrong with the Beats X. But if you want to save some cash and get pretty much the same experience from the Beats X, if you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of sound, I would definitely say go with the Smoking Buds 2.
So pretty much with that, when it comes, if I you if you factor in price, <coughs> if you factor.